Yes, there was no sound on purpose. Definitely on purpose. It was not unintentional. It was intentional. I was definitely not talking this entire time to myself. I would never do such a thing. I always know when the sound is working and when the sound is not working. I stand by those words. I was reading about the uh, the Columbia shuttle disaster. And then I noticed it was 7.54. And I'm like, I think there might be a game tonight. So if I sound a little shaken, it's because I was reading about people dying. You know, we love when people die. Especially rioters. Death to all rioters. I haven't said that on stream in a while. Got nine viewers. I think you all agree, right? Hopefully. Otherwise, I just kind of sound like a jerk. I sound like a jerk regardless. So I guess it doesn't matter. We're just waiting for the draft to start. It's 8.07. We're a little bit past the scheduled time. I'm still trying to see if... Gun Jungle's here. Waffle Dog, Maddie, Sarah. Miss Pretty Kitty. They're all here. Jord, Way 2K, Love No More, Arcane Havoc. We are waiting for Colossal Clouds? Who is not online? He is on Riot Mobile. Is there a update that I do not know about? Yes, Colossal Clouds, a.k.a. Big Boofs. Don't worry, I'm messaging them. I'm asking if Abel's playing. There he is, he's online. I'm inviting him immediately. Kathia is on blue side. Targon is on red side. This is game one. Week three Hextech. Kathia is 1 and 0. Targon is 1 and 1, I believe. Take a look at the uh, team standings here. Yes. Kathia 2 owed Noxus. Targon 2 1 to Noxus, I think. I think that sounds right. And then Targon lost 0 2 to yours truly and Bandle City. There are no subs this game, I think. I'm not too sure, to be honest, but everyone seems to be here. Game should be starting momentarily. Getting there soon for sure. He 
You know what scene I think about from movies a lot, guys, while we're uh, waiting for everything to get started here? That scene in uh, 40 Year Old Virgin, where the guy, the one coworker, brings his wife or his girlfriend in, and he's like, Yeah, I told, I told her about finding your speed dating card. And Steve Carell's like, Oh, yeah, 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 that's definitely mine. She's like, You wrote she was a hoe for show? And he's like, she was a hoe for show. You guys remember that? That was a good movie. I enjoyed that movie. Oh, we're all leaving the lobby. Everyone's leaving the lobby. Lobby's bugged. Lobby is bugged. Young Jungle asked me if I want to duo cast. You want to come in and cast while you're playing? I'm for it, man. Yeah, get in here. You never seen the forty year old virgin, Cameron? I guess you're living it. <laughs> oh, fucking got him! Damn, I didn't mean that. Cameron's not forty, and he's not a virgin. I don't think. If you're a virgin in Booze Bash, you're dead to me. Far from forty or far from virginity? Yeah, okay, that's what I was. Who, uh, game two is easy anyway. I'll come. Is Lol, Ram Lol Ramis one, two, three, two? Is that you, Young Jungle? Has that always been your name, or you just like got like a bunch of different Twitch accounts too? Oh, okay, all right, just making sure. I never know with you, you've got like a billion accounts. Twenty, yeah, billion, twenty, it's all the same. Both numbers I can't count to. All right, so we're just waiting here. Uh, draft is going. It is underway. The Katarina comes off the board. The Jarvan comes off the board. Both both Masters players drawing some bands here. As there's a Kindred band towards a way 2K. Alongside the Jarvan, let's see what Targon has in store here for their next band. Do we see Seraphine? That is also a target towards Maddie, who is the master player on Akathia. So we've got four bands for two masters players. And now what are we thinking here? Aphelios. What? That can't be real. They're not going to ban Aphelios. Arcane Havoc doesn't play that. Zillion. They ban Zillion. Zillion? I'm going to be real. I don't know who the Zillion ban is for. Unless it's like Abel playing at top, or maybe Jordan has been spamming it. Garen's coming across, though. That's for Ben. And there is the Rel pick. That is a decent pick, because you take it away from Way2K, who is a very good Rel jungler as well. The Rel jungle did just get nerfed, I believe, in this patch. We are on 13.4. I'm not too sure. It wasn't nerfed to Rel. It might not have been specifically... Do base want a co-cast? Oh, hell yeah. Base, get in here. I don't have a co-caster. I was ready to just solo it and not ask for anyone to join. But you're offering? Hell yeah. Hello. Hello. We got former Booze Bash champion, 4 and 5, Mega Base Man. What is up? Joining the cast. Almost. I have master tier tft player oh is master yeah, fine I, yes bro i've been master since week two <laughs> let's go i, just, I, I haven't have been keeping up. up i haven't been keeping up um how are you are you brushed have you brushed up on your league meta as we see the kaisa get picked here arcane havoc not known to pick kaisa but he's taking away from miss pretty kitty who is a very good kaisa player and kaisa is like kind of op right now i think yeah, I wish I wrote these patch notes, but I know the past two patches. Like the only, the only league I'm really watching is KT Rolster dominating LCK, but the static shift Kaisa has been going kind of crazy. Yeah, even with the nerfs to static shift. Yeah. 
helps her. She just clears the waves and then does a bunch of damage. I've Zoe. actually been playing this. Um, it's really funny because you pick Static Shift Kaisa and then you tell your support to go roam and you 1v2 the lane and you just clear a wave. I wonder if they're going to do that with the Maokai pick, which I assume is going to be a Maokai support. Jord played it exclusively in the Arcane Finals in Booz Bash 9, which he is a winner. Booz Bash 9 winner. On... Um... Yeah, I always I always have like someone random to bring into the cast usually, but not not today because I forgot there was a game. I saw you know at ten fifty or seven fifty four, I messaged the mod chat and I'm like, wait, there's a game, right? <laughs> so I had forgotten about it. I was gonna take a nap after reading about the Columbia disaster. I did not even read about that. I've been too TFT brain today. Yeah, you know, well, the Columbia disaster was in 2003. You, know, you probably already oh. read that at one point. Oh, then, yeah, 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 that one, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. I was, re I was reading okay. about it. Yeah, I don't know why I decided today was the day to learn about the Columbia disaster. Look, man, sometimes Fun fact, I went, to, I went to a elementary school that was named after the Challenger disaster. Not Columbia, though. Look, sometimes something just piques your interest. You can't control when you want to learn about things. Yeah, it's true. Zoe was picked. Ari was picked. So Maddie will be on Ari. Love No More will be on Zoe. Uh, Zoe, Love No More. He used to be called Potato Ari, so he's playing against his main. Maddie is a pretty good Ari player, so that's going to be a fun lane to watch. We did see more bands come across. Rumble and Graves. I assume Rumble for... Colossal Clouds, Graves for Way 2K. He might have he might have been playing it. I haven't checked the OPGGs. And then Mordekaiser Malphite towards Lawful Dog. Kane coming through. That's gonna be Sarah LOL jungling then. Ooh. I've only she watched has been Sarah on the ball Spamming Kane. A she even typed about it in the chat, so I'm surprised that they didn't want to ban it. Maybe they just don't respect it. They definitely respect Maddie and they definitely respect Ben though because <laughs> yep. that's that's five bands targeted to two people. Although I guess the same is on I guess it's the same against uh Targon yeah, too because there's Well no, not. Zillion I'm not sure who that's for still. So But yeah. there's four bands to two people, three to way to K one. Three, three to one bands, yep. And it's definitely a Maokai support. Sure, yeah. like which I like this bot lane matchup a lot for the Kaiso spread. Like I know Rel is really strong right now, but Maokai played correctly, kind of just doesn't care. Yeah. Cho'Gath versus Shen. That's going to be really boring to watch. And then once Shen's, Shen's going to try to alt away, Cho'Gath is going to silence him. And, and then Cho'Gath is going to try to TP, and then Shen's going to taunt him, and then Shen's going to try to TP, and then Cho'Gath is going to knock him up. You say it's boring, but I don't think a Ben top lane is ever boring. <laughs> he may play tanks, but he plays them very aggressively. Yeah, but what about Abel? Does Abel play tanks very aggressively? We're going to see, because he's playing yeah. Shen. Which sure Kel says Shen is favored early, so... It makes sense. If Abel's not you winning this lane early, I'm going to be very upset. Does Abel play Shen? Does he know to position the cube behind the Cho'Gath to pull through for the extra damage? I would imagine if you're playing Shen, you got to at least have read the abilities, right? Yeah. But then again, man, I don't know if Abel can read. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody does. Yeah, not everybody can read, you're right. That's true. What's the illiter <laughs> illiteracy rate for uh, the United States? Let's check that out. Let's see Florida specifically. Oh no. The home of Buzanach. Alright. 76.3% of Floridians can read. So there's a there's actually a one in almost four chance that Abel cannot. Yeah. Eh. And I know when I message Abel, he doesn't respond very fast, so I think he might have trouble reading. Oh, no. It took him like three weeks to fill out this when is good, so he might not be able to read. Look, 
telling time and reading are two completely different skills, okay? Leave them alone. But what if he's struggling to read the directions? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can enter the pick band oh. stuff. Oh, let me do a prediction really quick. You'll need to invite me. Oh, I'm not logged in. Oh, you're not in the... No, no, no. Oh, they're, they're banning anyway. You're just going to have to oh. right click, I think. I can't do a predict. Cameron, you gotta do the prediction because I'm not logged into the chat on Streamlabs. I trust you. End of the line. Where is Akathia? I just want to do pick bands really quick. Let's see. Jarvan, Kindred, Zillion. Oh, still not that. sure what that's for. Rumble, Graves. Oh god, when I needed Cameron the most, he wasn't here to do the prediction. Maybe they were worried about Able Mid? But Able doesn't really play oh, Zillion, does I he? did trust! He's here! Right. It has to be if they, if they thought Able was mid because he plays Mage's mid. Yeah. I wonder if... Um... Love No More has been playing it. I'll go look at his OPGG in just a second. After I make a prediction. And I'm going to predict that Akathia wins with 1,800 points. Time to pull up these teams for the second time this boost match. Because I don't know what's going on. GG. Figure out that's who have I played with more, more. And that's who I'm voting for. <laughs> Love no more. Target. Has Zoe. No Zillion, no. Let's go look at Colossal Clouds. Right. I think it's just going to end up being a uh, Zillion support ban here. I don't see any. I have no idea how good or bad these teams sure. are. I have no idea how these players have been playing. But the I Kathia? have way 2k or Kane Havoc on one team. I have to put 3k to Targon. I believe in them. There's a zillion in George's match history, so that's where I'm gonna oh, assume the band okay. is. Okay. Yeah, Jackie said George is a Zill support player. No, I just kind of ignore what Jackie says. So. <laughs> yeah, the mods are stupid. Yeah, I agree. Especially the ones that were recently made mod. I <laughs> agree, agree. Um, well, I agree it's not as good as Cameron Zillion, but can't say the same for the you. ego on Jackie. Sheesh. <laughs> question my question, my question, my question, my question, my question. Mark. All right. Prediction is up. You guys missed your chance. We are in a delay here. One minute, 58 seconds. So I guess we could take that time to... Wait, did I put all the pick bands? I did, but I don't know who's playing what. Well, I guess I could figure it out. Kaisa for Arcane Havoc. Way 2K is Wukong. Jord is Maokai. Love No More is Zoe. And Colossal Clouds is Shen. And then Akathia. The Voidwalker is, I'm assuming, Rel. I'm not, I haven't looked at the client to tell. Maddie is Ari. Waffle Dog is Choga. Sarah LOL is Kane. And this pretty kitty is Samira. Potentially. No. no. I'm wrong. Miss Pretty Kitty is Ari. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And Maddie is Samira. That also. So Maddie doesn't... will be playing AD Carry. Well, that oh. was a uh, whirlwind of an adventure there, figuring out who's playing AD Carry. We're still in the spectator delay. 36 seconds. I have not eaten today except for like nine pizza rolls. I should Ooh. eat more than nine pizza rolls. Although, I probably should have put points on Ionia instead. Or whatever. Kathy. I, Kathy, yeah. Yeah, Oops. I... 
Maddie running away from love no more? Scared? Yeah, not as scared. Fuck. Yeah, Maddie There's Samira has fucked up a lot of people. <laughs> that was the first champion that he played twice. Or her gone with Zach gets it. Bro, Maddie's running away from love no more, but uh, Arcane Havoc's gonna teach him a lesson. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch. If Maddie loses that lane, I think we got to just ban him. Also, I think I need you to put a uh, Discord stream if you can. Yeah, so the game's just loading in. So okay, yeah. It's just I cannot join from their game. Oh, you can't, you can't right click and spectate? Nope. nope. Must have been close. Really? Yeah. It's not uh, laying? If you right click me? Nope. That's great up. I wonder if they just put invite only. Yeah. All right. Discord stream incoming. All right. So I'll just do play by play then, because you'll be a little bit behind. Uh, I didn't zoom in or fast forward, so I'm gonna wait for this little invade going on here. That Young Jungle flashes forward, but the rest of the team not on the same page, and he's just gonna walk away. Four timers. Looks good. Now I can speed up here. Let's go. You can see the um, the stream, right? Yep. Minions have spawned. All right. Well, that's a quick flash away from Rel. We're gonna get some portraits sorted out here, and. Maybe they send Maddie bot. Oh, he got he bought the fucking skin. That's why he wants to play Samira. <laughs> All right, Good that skin. is it. There you go. We have a reason why Maddie is playing AD carry, and it's because the Samira skin is out. So here we go. We are underway. Hextech week three has started because the other game has not been played yet either. And we're already off to a crazy start. Kane did start Raptors, goes immediately to Krugs, so that means she's going to be jungling up. Usually with Kane players, you see them do uh, just go Raptors, Red, Krugs, back. Um, Charismai popular, popularized that. Level 2 going first over to Akathia's bottom lane. And... Targon rightfully so backed away. Yeah, Targon's comp looks pretty good, except I'm not really too sure where Zoe kind of fits into all of it. I guess for like a pick with the uh, the sleep, you can like Samira W and then it's like kind of like a pick comp. But I would have rather had a different mage, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's fine. I like the all-in potential of um, Akathia, though, as Abel goes to take a trade into an entire wave of minions, and he loses as expected. Yeah, not the best, weird. not the best time to go in there, Abel. Yeah, there's a lot of follow-up on Zoe Bubble, but as we're gonna see right here, here comes Wukong. That's a lot of damage. Miss Pretty Kitty has to flash away. Yeah, I think that is what's going the Zoe's role is going to be. Like in the mid game fights where you're fighting around Dragon. If you just get there first and Zoe just starts throwing bubbles. It's not like you can dive easily because they have Wukong and Maokai who are just gonna throw their ults at you and uh, either re aggro or re engage or disengage. Yep, and then you have nothing to do in zone control. Very yeah, it is, a, it is a lot of good disengage. Uh, and then Nakai goes in, just get some poke, waste aftershock. Wukong has pings into the blue side jungle for Akathia. Not going to find anything though. Kane has already cleared. Looks like Sarah LOL is just going to full clear here. Um, a lot of good slots, spots to. She took Conquer, so there are a lot of good spots to get the red cane here. Uh, Waffle Dog is in a situation where he might have to flash here as Wukong's coming up. Shen is coming. He does have Taunt. 
The knockup hits the Wukong's clone, but Shen's never in range to actually get the taunt off. And really nothing like really comes out of that. Waffle Dog just walks away, although there is a big dive potential here. And Ben might... He, he kind of just has to like deal with this. Oh, good flash there. As Way 2K is going to go in. The knockup. Abel's going to die for this. That's fine. He flashes. Why did he, Why did he flash? Oh, I mean, you, you, you usually take that because there's like a big wave, but it was a cannon wave, so... Cho'Gath is only going to miss about like four minions here, maybe maybe five, and he gets the kill. He got if and Abel flashed. I honestly don't think that was that bad for Cho'Gath when it should have just yeah. been like a straight like clean Abel doesn't kill. Flash there, I think it's like okay. It's not it's still not ideal, but it's definitely better than trading flashes. Yeah, the flat the flash was not good from from Abel. Also, that Abel hits panicked. turret. If Abel doesn't hit turret, he might have actually, like, before he hits the Cho'Gath, he hits the turret. If he does it earlier, probably gets out. We center him power all the long turn, but that happens. And yeah, yeah. Abel, takes that, bro. Abel has the TP advantage here now, though. He didn't have to TP back to lane. Ben did. Ben didn't miss much for that dive, though, which... As a top laner, you're very grateful for when the enemy team messes up the dive like that. The cane's on interrupted farming. Because that could have been a pretty that's big disaster. The, that's the real trade. Is that yeah. they traded one for one, but Kane is chilling. Yeah, I think you know Kane plus twenty farm. Honestly, with the way jungle, I, I think they did just buff some of the stuff in the jungle, but like, but the way jungle is like power farming, like a twenty. Like that's five camps. It's really, it's really not that big of a difference, especially if Kane's just gonna like farm to six and choose not to fight until getting six, which is kind of weird because Kane's early skirmishes are pretty good. Uh, we got yeah. Jord going down here, almost, almost dying. I can have it. Couldn't quite follow up there uh, on the Jord engage. Uh, Wukong going down, gonna choose to go to Dragon instead, and Zoe is there to help. Um, Kane is around though, and Blue Side is healthy enough to fight this, and so he might. No, maybe not. Ari's just gonna back. They're just gonna give it up. I think they could have fought this, but they choose not to. They had the flash on the rel, they had. Maybe they just didn't know. George's gonna go in here though. Mai's gonna back up here. He did get hit. He's at the basically the maximum Ooh. of the Kaiser Pass. And Wukong's gonna go past everybody and kill Maddie. George's not even gonna die. I had faith the entire time. That's why I voted for Targon. Oh my disaster for Kathia there. Meanwhile on the top side though, Awful Dog gets a solo kill. Why do you go after the dragon's taking, guys? Oh, for a good time. Gets a stun! Gonna live! Has nice to flash for it, though. But that's a pretty good play from uh, Young Jungle there to live. Yeah, if if Ari's backing, like, there's really no point in going into the jungle like after you see the dragon die, because you know Zoe was off the map. It's just... Just a weird play in general, yeah. I think Zoe and Kane were the only two sixes in that fight too, and Kane six is like solid, but without transformation, Kane six is a lot weaker than Zoe six, where he can just jump and bubble in your face. Yeah, and win the fight. That, that's what I don't get about the Kane here, because like, if you're gonna t choose to take that fight, why weren't you just fighting the entire game already? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's... You could you could have been like seventy five percent of the way towards your transformation before that fight even happened. You could have even got the transformation on the fight if you just like skipped farming a little bit. Cause there, there's been good opportunities to gank top lane, to gank bottom. As for a good time has made a roam up here, he's gonna find Abel. Abel's just gonna taunt out. That's the one thing I've noticed about Kane. Whenever I see it in Boost Bash, is people don't realize that Kane pre six can still fight. Kane at 6 is not as strong because his ult is not good unless he's up, uh, has a form. 
Because yeah. everybody else's six is as strong as Keen's six without a point. Yeah, it's really honestly, Kane, Kane level six is like really good for diving. Um, and it's really good for like taking the brunt of the damage and then, you know, like. Yeah, dipping. Oh, he didn't not even press W on the Samira or the uh, the Lillian. But everyone is here. Abel's alt is going to go down, but it's not going to matter. Uh, Love No More also might go down here as Miss Pretty Kitty is chasing him down. The Drowsy does hit, gets the kill though before dying. For a good time, still fighting it out here. Arkin Havoc looking to go in. Wukong is coming in. He does have ultimate. Oh, good. That was close. Really well played. Honestly, I'm down to say that that channel was actually best case scenario because you don't need Chen down there. He wastes just enough time. Yeah. And Chen gets to stay up in the play. Kane did get the Rift Herald. Uh, Shen does have Flash. Is going to have to run away from this. There's the Flash. Kane is still chasing after it though, and honestly, she's just fighting to get form at this point. You don't win. Oh. I guess she is winning the fight. But the rest of the oh. team showing up. She is yep. taunted, she's dying, and that's why you don't want to chase because yeah. they had so much time to back and come up. But the first turret does go over the bend. He got all the plates, which is really nice. Uh, only one of them was shared. Now he's getting a plate here, though. He's going to die to Wukong. He might as well just get the plate. Oh, he's going to try to get out, actually. Wukong does not evolve, so he does not chase him down. Wukong found in the jungle. The Ari bubble is going to come down. Going to hit the rel. Miss Pretty Kitty is going to get the kill. She's going forward for more. Does not have the taunt. Jord is in a very bad situation here as he tried to get a flank. But is it going to? are they going to be able to show up here? Maddie's looking to push forward for a good time. Also wants to go forward. But Ari is looking to back up and they just walk out. Jord had a crazy approach to that fight, but it's okay. That Doesn't that could have actually worked if the Zoe Q wasn't a field or the Zoe wasn't a field goal. That or a good time is just here taking the, the scuttle crab and might actually just die for it. Here comes Pasta Man coming in. There's the ultimate. Doesn't really amount to much. Kane is gonna get hit and <laughs> doesn't even get oh George gets the scuttle and they they die for it for not no reason really. Wukong flashes after Ari and Ari is gonna die too. And there are a lot of kills going the way of Targon, but they are still down 400 gold. I love Way 2 Kamon. He is the you know he is my favorite jungler I've played for because Andrew was never my jungler. I was always his. <laughs> Andrew wasn't your jungler in five? I jungled her both, I'm pretty sure. Like I'm almost certain. Seven. Oh uh, god, what was his flash? Seven. That was the one where you drafted Andrew, Zayna, Pui? Hmm. No, you know what? I'm Actually, you're right. You're right. Nope, Andrew was the jungler there. I think. You were AD yeah, carrying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was AD carrying because Andrew did not have a computer. Yeah. Another yeah, kill going down there uh, as we were trying to figure that out. <laughs> um, still ahead in gold though, Akathia is. If we take a look at the gold here. Um, ben mostly with the lead. Uh, pretty much a deficit. Well, Kane, despite being 0 and 3 at 30 CS, the camps are making up for the gold. But Way 2K is, once he starts farming again, he'll probably just be able to make it up pretty fast. Waffle Dog does come in here, going after Jord. He has Heart Steel. Jord does not have Flash. He's not going to go out here. K 
Can Ben get the stack? There we go. That's what I was looking for. What are the Cho'Gath stacks at right now? As I have to move the chat, he's at four. Pretty good. Pretty good. Matty does have a CS lead despite being 0-2. Uh, Dustblade is going to be coming across soon. Hopefully... I don't like the Dustblade here. Yeah, I'm not too sure if it's the play, but... Like, there's a Shen, there's a Brizu Kong, there's a Tank Maokai, and I know the Maokai is a support, but he has Aftershock. Like, your damage profile is just not that high. Duskblade just... Kane. Let's also mistake. So it looks like she's going to be going Lethality with Red Kane, which I don't really agree with in this game. This game is definitely a core drinker game, but... I think even if you did it, you would still do Eclipse for the Burst and Shield. Just be more annoying. Waffle Dog walking into George. He's got two teammates, potentially three coming up. He's... Oh, Possum Man has been caught here by Wukong, but going to be able to get out. Wukong's actually going to die for this. Uh, Ben's going to get the kill. Possum Man did come back in and end up dying. Four good time is here. Miss Pretty Kitty is also here. Maddie's still farming bottom. Miss Pretty Kitty, they are going on different targets here. There's a silence coming in from Ben. That's going to be a kill. Rel does unfortunately get it. Uh, Jord's going to go down here as well. And then Abel is also going to go down here. He does have the flash, but I don't see him getting out there. Ben gets a double kill. And he is 6-1 and one on the Cho'Gath. Big Ben. Oh, he's sticking around. He wants Arcane Havoc too. That's Cho'Gath champion is not fair. Bottom tower does go over the Maddy as well, so they actually balloon what? their lead to three and a half thousand gold. Most of it is on this Choga, but that might be enough with how that skirmish went. 130 stacks on the heart steel, as opposed to Abel's 54. He is. Up 4,500 gold on Abel. That's 16 minutes into the game. That's a... He's 40 CS away from Flame Horizon. Flame Horizon and him. Can't talk. Maddie is looking to live here, but it's not going to happen, I don't think. It's way too... He's actually going to kill way too K! Oh no, they commit so much for that. To kill an 0 and 2 80 carry. Oh, what are you guys doing? Was it worth it? I don't think so. There's no bounties going over, but like that is not worth it. They just like were looking to get something while they were doing Rift Herald, I guess, but you trade your jungler for an 80 carry who was 0 and 2. I, I don't know. Message sent. Sure. Okay. Great, nah. Wukong now no ha no longer has flash. Could be soul may self but, maybe. but here still... we go. Wait uh, for a good time is looking to go in with Miss oh. Pretty Kitty and Pasta Man without oh. their star players in Ben and Naipai. Oh Ben uh, he just walks over it. He's not gonna take that much damage though. George is going in, gets silenced immediately. <laughs> Wait, the kid's yeah. going in. He finds Miss Pretty Kitty. He finds Matty Patty, but it's not enough. Ben's still fighting for a good time. Is also still fighting. Way 2K is dead. Pasta Man was in the back line doing some work. This is going to be a clean ace. Nobody dies. And that's why you voted Kathia. Oh, man. Triple kill for Matty Patty, who until then was making not very much of an impact on the game. Did get a tower just like side pushing, but comes in clutch. Ben well, just, sure walking up. just tanked oh, everything my. there. Yeah, Ben. Ben's not solo carrying. Ben was solo carrying up until that point. I think that was a joint effort in that team fight. Uh, from honestly a triple because Pasta Man, Sarah LOL was doing work in the back line, like distracting them with the cane. There were a lot of stuff, there was a lot of stuff going on in that fight. That was not just a solo carry fight. The game was being solo carried up until that point. 
And it still might be, but that fight was not a solo carry. I don't want, I don't want to get carried away in chat there. I don't want you guys getting carried away. Ben put in the most work in that fight, though. I will give him that. Ben did put in the most work in that fight. He's also putting the most work in the game, and that's why he has like a billion K gold lead on. If I can press X. Yeah, 5,500 gold lead here. That's a top lane gap if I've ever seen one. We inch ever closer to the flame horizon. I, I want it. I want it so bad. I, I do. Half the people who are watching this game probably don't even know who flame is. Oh my god, stop. It's true. We're I'm old, man. We're old. Brand. Oh, I'm too young for this. <laughs> we're, we're too old. <laughs> God, I remember when the rumors were CLG Flame. Oh, I miss those days. Oh, man, yeah. Now they're not even an organization anymore. Flame Horizon, by the way, named after a player who consistently would get 100 CS above his opponent in games in Korea. His name was Flame. And Jord seems to be caught out here, but Love No More does get some damage over the side. Jord, the Shenok's going to come through. He never used... Like to see the Shen ult coming in on your support. Way 2K is going forward. He dies before his ult can even connect with anybody. Ben gets a kill onto Jord. Matty Patty still going in. Colossal Class is gonna die and love no more. He's not gonna be caught, I don't think. I think he'll live here, but they lose four members for none. And that's gonna be a Baron unless barring a miracle Zoe steal going over to Akathia. Let me go take a look at my fantasy points here, because I have Way2K. <laughs> oh no. That's fine, really he's 5 and 5, we love that. I also have some other players. Oh, Way2K is I've got Maddy, 5 and 3, we love that. Kanori is not playing, but I do have a Kathia of the team, who has 5 towers, 1 Baron, 1 Dragon. Soon to be getting inhibitors, hopefully. This is like a dream scenario for my team. For your fantasy team? Uh, yeah, on. I'm playing against uh, Typhoon, who has Abel and Jord, so that's great. Oh. These are, this is stonks going up for me. Oh, they found Jord. Jord doesn't have flash. He's going to die for sure here. I, I don't know if you saw with like Wukong when when he was tagged by Cho'Gath, but like the ultimate like r threshold to like execute was at like half his health. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Jordan was <laughs> playing that, this game really well to getting caught in every single Add an inhibitor to Kathia's score. Oh, let's go Kathia. Honestly, I can lie about this on the. Uh, we are we are not having fun with Riot's change to match history. As they're diving under, they're gonna kill Way 2K, who is silenced. Colossal Clouds is gonna go down next, I believe. As for a good time does die, and this pretty kid's still alive. That's a quadra kill. Is that a pentakill? No. Cho'gath got a kill, right? Cho'gath, yeah, Cho'gath. Let him get all the farm. I want the Flame Horizon. Almost a pentakill. I thought there was three, so I would have been pretty hyped that that was going to happen. Give him the farm. He, if he farms all these minions, he'll get it, but they're probably just going to end. And what a game, because like I feel like this entire game, outside the last like seven minutes, was just like Targon like heavily winning. They found really good skirmishes and they kept fighting, and then they Why made would I the give mistake. You, a you, don't, you don't know. There's no Kel chant. You're not Kel. You're Ben. 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 ben oh, you ben. ate the ass. Oh, yeah. Kel does play Cho'Gath, doesn't he? Kel. Uh -huh. Kel. 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 All right. You deserve the Kel chat. Don't don't watch back the one fight where I said you weren't solo carrying it because I wasn't shit talking you, but someone said you were solo carrying it, and I had to change the record because it was not a solo carry, but it was a very good carry. Just not solo. But you basically solo carried that game until Maddie got like 10 kills in the last like three fights. 
So we are, that game's over, 23-14. I'm just gonna add that to the fantasy thing because let's get that out of the way. 23-14. Ben was just putting in so much work. I would say 95% of that game is Ben. Let me get you in here, base. Let me. That way, I don't have to stream anymore. On Discord, we might be in for a quick series here. Is that was a twenty-three minute game? So they're going to be red side. They're going to stay on the same side. Um, Young Jungle, you're watching the stream. Can you post, like, you go to, like, scoreboard? Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just pick a random game here. So you post this screen in the captain's, like, uh, the Boozvash 10 Hextech game submission channel. This screen, and then scroll down all the way on the stats and post so we have this as well. You're watching the stream, so I assume that you, you can you can do that for us. You are the captain, after all. Yeah, do your job. <laughs> so yeah, this screen here, and then go to stats and go all the way down and get this one too. In the Hextech, the Booze Bash 10 Hextech game submission. Oh, we got the draft ready, primed. It is 1-0 over to Akathia. Um, ben, big front runner for MVP, I think, already. Already. 24-minute game. 23 minutes? I don't remember. I didn't write it down like I said I was going to. It was 23 or 24 minutes. Uh, game through, like, 15 minutes... Katia had a pretty much had the lead, but it was like literally Ben being up like five thousand gold. But Targon was winning like pretty much everywhere else across the board, and then uh, they got the team fights. And the Kane even did you even transform? I honestly did not notice. Truly, Sarah, you're in the chat. Truly, did you get your transformation? Be honest. I'm not too sure that Kane transformed that game. Does anyone know? Was anyone paying attention to that? Because I wasn't. Surely, surely she transformed. <laughs> I can't be certain, but surely. Yo, Young Jungle came in clutch with the scoreboard and everything.
Draft's not happening yet, so technically you're allowed in there. But um, you say you transform, but I don't believe you. Um, there's no way to prove, you know, whether or not you did. Don't go look at the vods. That's not that's not legal. Um, so we're all just gonna say, for intensive purposes, there was no transformation for Kane. So Makoto doesn't feel left out. Sam, the second game where there's just no transformation. Yeah, yeah. Now it's Makoto and Sarah not transforming in games. So we're going to be getting into drafts soon. I get my channel points for Kathia winning. TY. And now I'm going to add fantasy points while we wait. Kathia game one. Three, seven, nine. One inhibitor. One Baron, one Dragon, two Rift Heralds, 23-14. Draft is happening. Jarvan is a coming in. Kindred, Catalina. Yeah. We're still looking at the same kind of thing going on here. CS for Shen. That's really tragic. No towers taken. So, same bands coming through, except no Seraphine ban. It is a Cho'Gath ban instead. And they are gonna slam the rel again. I imagine we see the Void Walker play it again, but you never know. Cho'Gath is scary. They don't want to play against it, so they get rid of it. So. Probably take the to... Ari. Yeah, Ari's pretty blind pickable, I think. Yep. Not a lot of champions can actually just consistently beat her in lane. So I do think the Ari should be picked here as well. A Mumu gets picked though. I think that's gonna be a Mumu support. Vane. That yep, that sounds like Arcane Havoc. I don't know if that's correct, but that's Arcane Havoc for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe it's a flex. Maybe they'll randomly be like, sure, take this top, baby. I could see it. I'm doubtful, but I could see it. I'm also doubtful. <laughs> so? Misfortune. All right, Maddie's going mid. Yep, Misfortune is a Miss Pretty Kitty pick here. Unless Maddie just... He just wanted to play the Samira. He just wanted to use the skin.
They are taking their time. Oh, never mind. It was just frozen. <laughs> cool. Well, now it's back. Diana. So that's going to be... Uh, Sarah LOL playing Diana, who just got a pretty big buff here. Um, they did miss a pick, but they are saying it is Maokai. That is what they're saying in chat. Oh, okay. yeah. A Maokai pick for the missed pick. Akathia going to ban Rumble. And we're probably going to see the Graves ban. No? Well, maybe not, because Maokai and Amumu were both picked. So maybe we don't see graves, but I imagine it might just end up being graves. Because Malkai could go top. Amumu, I think they probably think it's support. I would still think it's support. They're going to ban Ari instead. Good ban. Yeah, no, that's fair. Ben takes four bans. He's scary. Nocturne coming in. Ooh. So it is a Maokai top. I'm excited. I love Nocturne. Rush. Rel Jungle. Diana Mid. Rel Jungle. I have Thresh seen those. Top. I don't know. I'm not too sure what's going on here. Hmm. What? In the world is going on in the Kathia on Sarah's bad bitch bad bitch Barbies. It's gotta be Diana Mid, yeah, I think so too. Rel Jungle. There's the Heimer. One thing we do know is that it's gotta be Ben playing Heimerdinger. Holly. Um. The blink champ is Maokai, correct. I would assume it's a Mumu support Maokai top. Yeah, I would too. But with Abel, you never know. Also fair. Ready? We're about to get in to the draft in client. Um, prediction. Zach, you're there. Start the prediction. Start the prediction. Nice. 
Raid on time. I'm just gonna go ahead and the first of many predict with all my with most of my channel points. Not most, just four thousand six hundred. I'm gonna put them all on the Capia here. Looks like someone else is also picking a Cathia with me. No surprise there, Ben locks in the Heimerdinger. Let's give you guys the live look at the Stream Ruski, I believe that's way 2k. I, I hate that we don't get to see the player names for the red side. So is Yun Jungle jungling this time? Or all jungle? Pasta Man. Pasta Man playing the Thresh in the jungle? Or the Thresh uh, support? Surely not Thresh in the jungle. Pretty Kitty has been playing a lot of Thresh. Are we going to see an MF come out from Ooh, Sarah. Sarah LOL? Sarah MF, yeah. That sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, someone bet 10 channel points just so they could potentially get that payout. That looks like an MPK Thresh to me. You know How what? How was you, Cameron, you son of a bitch? <laughs> I'll put in... Ah, oh, somebody put in 500. Oh, never mind. Nah, you know what? I'll Why still you put in... in no top. I'll put in twenty so that I get double whatever Cameron gets. I feel you on that. That was a good move. Alright, so we are gonna be getting into the three minute spectator delay soon. You, you won't have a good payout because you're not going to win. That's the problem, right? <laughs> Kathy has taken this home in 23 minutes once again. Surely it's on another 23 minute. Ah, uh, yeah, it probably is. Lawful Dog just pushes down top lane because it's a Heimerdinger versus oh, what? Uh, a Maokai? Yeah, there's going to be a 20 minute Baron for sure. Naokai doesn't get to do anything in the lane. They just get top control. Maybe we'll actually get the Flame Horizon this time though. If that's an asterisk of a Flame Horizon, that need... matchup is not fair. I need Maddie to get all the kills. I need Ben to take all the all the objectives. And I need way 2 k to get all the kills for Targon. Because that's how my fantasy team is laid out. This week. Yeah. I already had Miss Danzy give me 37 points in the hey Demacia yo. versus Freljord game. Nice. That game was a disaster at the start with all this shenanigans involving emergency subs. 
By the way, we, mods really dropped the ball on this one. Garen Jesus is the permanent sub for Battle Tested. In case uh, in the Chemtech League, in case everybody was wondering. That was announced somewhere, right? I saw that. Oh, you, you did Yeah, that. I did it earlier today. Yeah, we dropped the ball on that one for sure. We should have told everybody. But we did not tell everybody because Freljord had no idea. <laughs> well, sometimes these things they're happen. Like, they're like, why is Garen Jesus in this lobby? I'm like, oh my god, they don't know. Battle Test is Lemur. And Avi, Garen Jesus is playing top lane now. I Andrew, play. you know how to you know how to spell opponents. Come on, stop fucking trolling. Andrew is part of the twenty six or twenty five percent or whatever that is illiterate in Florida. Ugh. Him and Abel, they make up the entirety of the twenty five percent. I can't even spell Neopets right. <laughs> Neopets <laughs> is coming back. I heard right. Neopets is coming with a card game. I heard. Oh damn. Uh, it wasn't the captain's cards. fault. It wasn't the captain's fault. This is our fault. Neo we didn't. Pets. We didn't tell everybody, because we have we have like representatives from three of the five teams in the mod chat, and I um I had already told people on the Sharima because I was in call with them when it was getting discussed. So four of the teams knew. Nobody told Freljord, which is the issue, and that's our fault. That we we did not tell them. Upper Deck released a video two days ago. Neo Pets Battle Dome trading card game. Relive the magic. We're in the game. I just got Neo to wait for to show up on the Observer. There for all you TCG fans out there and Neo Pets fans out there, come see me. I'll kick your ass in Neo Pets. We're seeing Spring. another invade. It is real jungle. It is able top. Throw the blind hook. Able is hook. in a sticky situation. He's gonna get hooked. He's not gonna be able to flash out of this one. He is dead. And he got caught slipping there. Why did he not flash the hook? Confident. As soon as you see them, your your finger needs to be on that DK. You have to be waiting, yeah have to be ready for it don't eat like even if you think you can dodge it just flash it if there is no point don't look now heimerdinger starting with a dark seal going the top lane yeah top lane's over do, 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 do. here we go uh do you see his rune or his his summoners the summoners d on flash d yeah, for no, flash. i agree with zach though f is for flash disagree well you're wrong See, I started this game as a mid laner, so I was always taught that F was for fire. That's why you take ignite on F. I want not to in the wind, but I also need to have in the wind. An eBay link to a Neopets Lost Desert. Miss Pretty That's Kitty's so dead. Oh. Jordan got the kill. But wasn't does, really. Does pass the man get I wasn't the expecting hit? that one. I don't know if you guys were either, but. <laughs> huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm up just good solo XP. And they can't do anything about it because neither of them can actually walk up on us enough. Like, it looks bad for oh, Katia to just hop in. But, like, the MF got away scot free. Like, she didn't take a single hit, now she can 1v2 zone. This actually just works out better for a Katia, ironically. Because Arcane happens like nowhere near the kill, he just gets an assist, but he's like over Rel away is invading now. the Nocturne here. 
Heimer is going to be coming with him. Here comes Rail going in. Spell shield comes out. Stops the knock up, but the stun still goes. Fear comes through. Nocturne is just going to be able to walk this one out. Probably going to lose his Krugs for it, though. This is always rough when you're a jungler. Nocturne should win that fight, but he has to run away because Heimer just has permanently permanently permanent priority in the lane i can't talk can we uh we got the pause going on here can i get a can i go back and look at the replay i mean okay so targon has to get the kill just because of the way the fight went out anyway but that like wasn't bad for targon so i'm gonna rewind or, a or sorry that wasn't that wasn't really that bad for Katia. let me know I'm, I'm looking at the replay let me know if the pause stops and then so they're, doing, they're just getting a lot of damage on the Miss Pretty Kitty here. Vayne yeah, also guess. takes a ton of damage, but here's the issue. There, right there, Jord does a lot of damage and Thresh is not tanky yet. I'm surprised he gets out here though. Boston Man, I feel like, could have kept chasing this with uh, how low Vayne was. I think a big wave crash and this MF gets to form the way for free anyway is just totally fine for Akathia. Like, this Vayne's gonna be missing some- she gets all the XP but she misses some CS on her turn for sure. Look at that wave. Yeah. And the MF gets a free recall. Not a free her? recall. Her Thrush had to die for that recall. But... I don't think the assist gold... This is really a big deal for the lane mob pressure that the is going to get now. Game is on pause. Game working for you? Uh, no. It's up now. Just oh, there we go. Got some stuff going on in the chat. Hmm, it's smaller than the diagram. That minion's got 302 health. Mid lane snooze fest. Jungle, somewhat kind of exciting. Wait, no more snooze fest? Wait, 2k was spotted out. Maddie doesn't care because Rel is coming. And Wait, 2k just wants to get the Spell Crab. Oh, Love No More goes in, gets some more poke, and Abel is not having a good time top lane. Farming surprisingly well, though. Yeah. It's smaller than the diagram. He's holding his own. Not even really Maddie wave, BMing no. Love No More? Jord going in, getting some damage on Pasta Man, but taking more than he can dish out? Oh, Abel didn't get the cannon there. We all saw that. And for Ooh. a good time, gets condemned out of the magnetic Ooh. thing. I can't remember the name. Way 2K is here, though. Jord is coming in. He's going to get a uh, kill. He's going to go over to Arcane Havoc. He's going to get two here, I assume. There it oh. is. Can they get the third one? MF does not have flash yet. They choose not to dive though here. As flash will be coming up soon. Never mind. They're choosing to dive. George, you shouldn't be the one tanking. Yeah, that was. But that's. And there's a solo kill going over I... to Lawful Dog in the top oh. lane. Ooh. George, your Nocturne had 75% health and flash. Just let him go first. You're watching this back. You probably will. Let him go first. <laughs> you needed one turret shot to die. Off screen, Ben got a kill though. We did get to see it right at the end with the ignite ticking down. Let's see if we can get a, a replay really quick here. It's too little too far back. So, Abel was just getting poked out under tower. Ben is just going to probably land everything here. Abel walks up to farm, gets stunned. That's three turrets hitting. Directed camera said, don't care. 
and let's see if we can to watch it to speed to catch back up. Not much going on, and we are back live. A moo moo coming in for the gank. My Patty's going to have to flash. He does have ultimate. He's going to choose to go in instead. Oh, the ignite's going to kill her. He's not going to get the second kill, but he does get a kill out of that. He didn't have to do it, but he did it for me, the fantasy points. Great. Thank you, Maddie. True. Appreciate that. He knew. That's what was in the back of his mind going in there. He's like, I could just walk away with this. No kills, but I'll give Grant a net two points here. Even when he's not on your team, he's on your team. Exactly. And now for a good time is going in. Jord doesn't... Oh, he does have flash. He might have to flash here, but Rel is probably not going to have enough damage. Way 2K is coming oh. back around. That that's was a, silly. That's a kill. That, that was silly. That should not have happened. No, it shouldn't have. But you live by the blind aggression, you die by the blind aggression. True. Yeah, the vein Condemn was uh, really good into the... Uh, Oh, the from Rel. I forgot what Absolutely. that ability is called. Mag is that magnetic charge or is that the? Uh, it is. Tilt? It's crash down. Oh, crash down. Yeah. There we go. Ferromantic crash down. Magnetic storm is the ultimate. Yes. We have a lot of pause, like little stutters going on here. Abel is just getting hammered in the top lane. Almost a 30 CS gap. Maddie gets the ward on there. Uh, just pink ward picks it up though, so he doesn't really have vision anymore. Love no more is getting hit. Abel's just gonna alt so he can get some farm here. Arcane Havoc's gonna get that ward. Fuck yeah, let's go. Woo! Fucking ward, baby. He killed it. He has a CS lead. They're doing dragon. Hextech Dragon. Uh, oh, here we go. They're looking to go in. MF is not going to get the kill. She does get the ult down. Doesn't get the kill. Nocturne Ultimate coming through here. That Nocturne Ultimate. Oh, the Maddie Patty Ultimate is going to end up getting two kills because of it. Love No More is going to flash over the wall. He's going to get a kill. He's going to be able to run out. Jord does have flash. Going to have to get over the wall there. So it is a two for one. With the dragon going over the Targon, but that was a little fun skirmish there to watch. Uh, Maddie gets the ultimate on three people. That was a really good pull by the Dino, but yeah. uh, that Nocturne ult was not it. Half HP, you don't have your a mythic build, like you are just going to get popped. Yeah, you, you kind of want to, in this kind of situation, you want to Nocturne ult and let the Amumu and Maokai engage. Maokai obviously wasn't there, but... Yep. You gotta let them take the brunt force uh, of everything, and then we have another pause. So let's get the replay going. Boop, 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 doo, 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 doo. And we're gonna rewind a little bit. So MF is gonna lay the ultimate down here. While her team is looking to come across, Akali made them hesitate here though. So he's yeah. gonna ult. Amumu's going in. There's no ultimate on Amumu though. I think he had to wait for Amumu to keep going in. You have six seconds to play with in the Nocturne ult. You don't have to immediately go in. I don't know if you caught that, but Maddie's ult interrupts the Akali E dash. I did not catch that. That was a good catch from you though. And that makes the ultimate even better. Yeah. Uh, Abel is getting hammered in top lane still. More of the same. Are we still on the pause? Okay. Nocturne did not get interrupted. Nocturne ult did well oh, before the game. Di or old Nocturne got sort of interrupted. Like he hits the rel and then the rel knocks him up right after that. Nocturne ult cannot be interrupted. Yeah, so he yeah, he hits the rel first and then the rel will just it is, knock it him is up unstoppable. Yep. Yes. Yeah, he got immediately CC'd, which is why Nocturne leading yes. with ult with half HP way ahead of his team. Without a mythic or anything that like one shot whoever he's jumping on was not the play unfortunately. Yeah, you have to you have to pick and choose when you wanna like actually use the second part of the Nocturne ult. I mean that vision was doing a lot of work for them anyway, or the vision now rather. Yeah. 
could have just left it at that and ran away if they wanted. We are just getting a bunch what? of little micro stutters. We love that. Ooh, it's we love that. That's fine though. It's actually right. Like the Thresh got the vein kill, which is really huge because now if Arcane Havoc accidentally mispositions Molly, he's giving a big shutdown to Pasta Man or Maddie or the Waffle. Yeah, it could have been way worse. That that uh, vein kill going over someone else. Because there was a little bit. There was 150 bounty, I think. Nocturne also had 150 bounty. And that one went over to Misfortune. Misfortune, yeah. Alright, Jord coming in. Akali is behind him. I don't know if they saw the Akali, but she's gonna show up now. Jord can't land the bandage toss, and nothing comes from that. The wave's in a difficult situation there. They Jord's hey, not level six. And credit. Jord landed the bandage toss. The oh, just played it. Oh the oh the mini go back. He hit the one that counted. That's true. Alright, Abel has... I always forget what this item is called. Life Bolt Pendant going to be building Eden Shroud. Life Bolt Pendant reminds me of the... Um, remember the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series? The Duelist yeah. Kingdom? Mm -hmm. The uh, the one that Yami uses, the... Uh, or whatever his name is. With the castle in the sky, the dark castle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a Mumu coming in. He's got the ult. There comes the Nocturne ult. That's going to be a kill. Great layered CC there. Oh, that's fantastic. That Abel is going to be ulting here. He's going to kill Rel. No, Rel flashes over the, uh, the smash ability thing. I forget what it's called. Despite the fact that I've played Maokai so much. Some crazy jumping around here. Is this a solo kill for Love No More? Yes, it is. Oh, Love No my. More solo kills the Diana mid dip, baby. Reminds me of when Zack got solo killed by Juan. Nope, oh, it happened. I'm gonna read the text message, so be right back. As you can tell, Grant is one of the 74% of Floridians that is illiterate. So you can read his text messages. I have it read out to me by the, the voice. Okay, you might be one of the 26% that is illiterate. <laughs> he just kills. Alright, Maddie looking to go in here, finds George. George doesn't have flash. The uh, yep, George's dead. George is oh. I think. Yeah, well yeah. Oh, oh my god. Never mind. There's, okay, George's dead. <laughs> George is so clean, he forced the hex uh hexag rocket bomb. <laughs> Maddie, he's like, fuck, I can't lane against this Ari guy, this Akali guy. Potato Ari's too good, I gotta go get kills on Jord instead. <laughs> so look at that, 90, 100 uh, CS for HK on the Nocturne. They're gonna jump in here onto Ben. The fear is gonna go down, but Zanyas does come through. Way 2K is dead. Akali is gonna get the kill, but she's gonna die for it. She does get the 600, or yeah, I think it was 600 gold total shut down. So, yeah. but could say worth off. for that, but uh, I'm not too sure if it is, honestly. You're gonna lose Dragon, you're gonna lose Botcher. Yeah. Like... They thought it was just gonna be a quick dive in, get the kill, but they. Probably didn't know Ben had stopwatch. Maokai though? Maokai I'm withering away. The slam in this tower. Not gonna get it yet. Ben does not have TP. He did take Ignite, so maybe he can get it before Ben gets there as the turret plates fall. I don't think he can. He's gonna have to actually be careful because Ben's gonna pull up on this right as he is about to get the turret. And he might try to greed for it. I think you just leave. It's fine. Oh, he ults. Oh. Well, he oh, ults gonna... to get away, though. Yeah, nice. but like he could have just walked away without ulting, I feel like. Yeah, oh, I absolutely. 
Unless he's afraid that... I don't know. Oh, Ben's coming for him. Nope, never mind. Ben's not coming for him. I lied. Ooh. Miss Pretty Kitty. Oh! The predicts the hook into the, the tumble. Gets the kill. They're going to do double kill for this. But that looked pretty good. That was fun to watch. That was, that was, that was pretty good. But unfortunately, Nocturne never Might have just been maybe too close. Each. Maybe it wasn't a prediction. It was just too close to like actually tumble out of it. But tumble out of it. That still looked good. Oh, he wants to hex flash into this. There he goes. But it's too late. Hex flash takes too long. Here's Ben on the Jord. Jord doesn't have flash. Jord's going to die. Why is Jord walking that way? Because we always have to take the greediest path. That is the way of the Jord. Uh, technically, that's longer anyway, though. Because you have to walk down before you can walk back up. Oh, Nocturne gets stunned here. Diana's on that side, too. Oh, Q just misses. So now he's just going to go farm. They're going to get mid-tower here for this. Yep. There's no stopping this. Baron's coming up in about... 20 seconds uh, plus 4 minutes. Can't do math. So, look for the Heimer Digger to start uh, moving over there in about 3 minutes. You know the CS is closer top one this game than it was last game. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. We got a huge fight going on here. It's going to pause right in the middle of it. Way 2k. Waiting for his ultimate to come back up before he tries to get back in on this. Jord goes in. He's going to die. They are still fighting. Colossal Clouds is going to go down to Maddie Patty. Arcane Havoc's trying to get a kill. He goes forward. He's hitting them, but he's not doing any damage here. They do get a kill there. A double kill coming through, actually. Love No More is still alive, though. And this is going to be an ace for Ooh. Targon. What a crazy fight that was. There's not going to be many objectives to go around here for it, though. Uh, Rich Arrow is coming up. But let's take a look at that again, because this was just so disjointed and a lot of stuff going on here. So what what are we going to see here? We're coming in. Way 2K just wants to get the red buff, and for a good time is like, nope, I'm going to use the Magnet Storm. They do jump in there. Love No More comes in from behind them. Is going to get Lawful Dog there, who was a little too far ahead. But Maddie sees an opportunity to keep pushing forward here, gets the kill. Uses the double E though to get the kill. And Arcane Havoc gets the condemn here. Nocturne Ultimate does come back up. He was waiting for that. And they just cannot whittle down this Nocturne fast enough. Love No More did so much work. Arcane Havoc's target selection was really good that fight. I yes. kind of wish he played it a little further back though. Because yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he did saw not blood. have to die there. He saw blood. Yeah. I think they could have cleaned up without him dying. But. I will say that he chose his target very, very well. Yeah, he Each time blood he there on the Diana. He, he tumbled forward to get that kill. Yep. Oh, George going in. The Nocturne Ultimate coming through. They jump in on the Rel. He's not quite that tanky yet. But this is a 5v2. And they're going to get one kill out of it. As Rel is going to run away. Dragon is not quite up yet. It's still a minute. <laughs> We're going to speed up here. Maddie, oh, they're on a ward, so this is going to be a collapse of four people. But way 2 k is a little bit far ahead of everybody, but it doesn't matter. They can't kill him fast enough. They don't have the damage. They're going to end up getting three for nothing in this entire extended trade. You know, I was planning to only join you for the one game because I'm like, oh, I'm free, nothing's going on. I'm so glad I'm just staying for this game. This is exciting. <laughs> Way 2K stays a little bit extra for that wave, but he's going to be able to flash out. He's going to run away. George's going to miss the ability probably for the best, but everyone lives there. I I think that if he hits that, the Akali can dive. Yeah, Akali could have got there in time, but I wasn't convinced that she was going to get there in time. But they're going to end up getting Dragon, maybe. Abel is coming in here. He's going to ult here soon. Akali also TPs in. The Heimer turrets are doing work. Heimer is in a very sticky situation. Going to die immediately there. Oh, really well played, but I can't have it. And the team just kind of felt disjointed there. 
Oh, Matty Patty gets three people in the alt. Doesn't get the second part in. Miss Pretty Kitty's trying to give him the way out with the lantern, but it's not enough. For a good time, ends up dying there too. So they drop four people total in that attempt to get dragon. Yeah, I'm just a little too early to go for Baron and you lost their vein. They were on, not on the same page, the three initially, with Maddie and Four Good Time dead. Ben wanted to fight, but the other two ran away, and Ben just ends up dying. Oh my god! Yeah, look at that damage. Is Ben gonna get killed here though? He doesn't have the Zanyas. He does get way to K, but he gives his life for it. Akali did get the kill onto Miss Pretty Kitty as well. Four good times chasing her down. Here comes Pasta Man. This is going to be a big shutdown. It's a thousand gold. Who's going to get it? Hopefully not for a good time. Nai Pai finds him. Shutdown goes over to MF, who has Yumu's and Axiom Mark. Axiom Mark. I don't like this wolf. <laughs> I'm not too sure about Axiom Mark. Axiom Mark MF. is never a good item. Like, no, it's, they, it's they buffed all... it. They buffed it. Did they? Yeah, they did. So it's actually a buff once you have your first Mythic and Axiom Mark. So getting it second is oh. actually not that troll because it scales with Lethality now. But I just don't know when MF is going to have the time Ooh. to ult twice in these fights because That's they have crazy. so much, like, so many ways to, like, get onto her. Jord is gonna die, but he stopped the attempt at Baron. Maokai, well he did, until Maokai just overextended here now, and now they're gonna keep, they're gonna get the turn back on it. It's gonna go down fast with Heimerdinger, Leandries, and the turrets come out. He doesn't have the turrets set up for it though yet. Nocturne is looking to maybe try to alt to get in here. Baron is at half health here. We're gonna zoom out a little bit. Akali's going over just to get vision. That was really good. They do have vision of it with the mark. Here comes Way 2K. He can't really do too much. He just throws a Q, and that's Baron going over to Akathia. Very good heads up on them to get the pick onto Jord. And get the kill. I feel like every time I watch Jord in lane, I'm super impressed. And then every time I watch Jord outside of lane, I'm, I'm, I'm like left wondering what he's doing. Yeah, he's flanking with no mana. It was really weird to do. But why does he have no mana? It's not like he needs to. I don't think he ever back. Oh, there's a TP coming oh. in. Miss Pretty Kitty is getting engaged on by Love No More. She proto belts the wrong way though, looking for MF who had just backed. Didn't find them. So. The teleport from Colossal Clouds came through, and he's just going to back immediately, which is unfortunate because somebody has to answer Heimer. He does have Abyssal Mask, which I think is a pretty good buy into this team. So that was a good heads up on Abel on the build path there. Heimer does have the Zanya, so it's going to make going into those fights a little bit easier for him because they have been diving him pretty well, hence the four yeah. deaths. Heimer's practically full build now. We got Trinity Force Static Shiv on Vayne. I assume that the Rated Dirk is going to be Edge of Night for MF. Just opting to go the full Lethality build here. I think that probably going IE might have been a little bit better, but since it got buffed, but I'm not sure. What is that? Zach, what do you think? You're the resident expert on the build paths of AD Carry. There's the Edge of Night. Yeah, the build for MF. I just don't I don't know when she's gonna be able to throw the alt down twice in fights. Pasta Man is chasing down Colossal Clouds. Maddie Patty is also here. We're gonna get a little stutter on the spectate, but Abel is gonna do his damnedest to try to buy time. It's not gonna to amount to anything. Actually, Mark sucks. Should have gone collector. Jord is in a sticky situation here too. He's gonna to flash mastery and alt, and he's gonna be able to walk away. But that's gonna be Dragon going over. It is 
the second one. People are going to channel back here because Nocturne is going to get this tower. He should be able to get it. Throws the ult, throws the Q down to get extra damage. Good. I'm glad. It's always nice to see Nocturne's doing that. Arcane Havoc, what are you doing? I don't know. That was uh, really weird. Oh, uh, it was weird. And now, and then they commit after he's already dead. I, I think. I think. But he commit here. There's the commit is good because for a good time went the other way. They split up. Yeah. So the commit actually turns out to be good. Great job, Targon. You love that. That's yeah, what you that type was, in chat. Two for one, Arcane, baby. Arcane Havoc <laughs> bait. Yeah, Arcane Havoc is like two for one. Easy. <laughs> All he part of the plan. Died to give them confidence. Oh, they won't have chat, bait for this fight. You can believe it. He definitely he said it. IRL, I heard it. He actually just texted me, two for one. Uh, Abel is throwing his ult to defend this tower. They're going to get Maddie in the root. Lawful Dog is able to go around it. Maddie is going to be in a bad situation here. He can't even get the ult down with the fear from Nocturne. And let's flash forward. He's going to tag him. Hits the Q. Oh, he's dead, though. Good. Ben's yeah, not getting dead. out of this alive. No way. Yeah. I don't think he had the ult because he still had the Q tags on him. But fuck it, right? I mean, Nocturnal. Uh, it's not two. a long cooldown. Yeah. All right, that's one ult. Axiom Mark. Where are my resources? Where's the second ult? That's that's actually true. By the time Axiom Mark gives you a second MF ult, it's understood that you've already killed all five of them. So what? You'll have it for the next fight, which you already. I just see. It seems like an ARAM build. That's what it seems like to me. Yeah. They're going to catch out for a good time here. And this is just pick after pick for Targon. And it's they. it seemed like, you know, like they lost kind of control of the game, but they're gaining it back with all of these picks. Jordan is probably going to die here, but you never know with how these fights have been playing out. He's living nah, for a long time. I think his team kind of gave up on him a little bit too early there. Nah, I think you give him up. Wait, they They're ignited not him. What? <laughs> Why did you just commit Ignite to that? It's you worth it. They... Fuck it. They, they uh, used Ignite and... You know what? Fuck it. That's worth <laughs> like, it. Why did they Ignite? That, the person was dead already. I guess Maddie was walking to. I thought it was Miss Pretty Kitty who ignited. It makes more sense that it was Maddie who ignited. Because he started walking towards the... Towards the CS, so I was wondering. I thought it was I thought it was Miss Pretty Kitty who ignited, but the, it makes more sense now that Maddie did it. So he ignited and started walking towards the CS because he's like, I don't want to waste fucking time. And then she auto attacked to take the kill. He's he's molding internally about that. By the way, I'm gonna hear about that later. <laughs> <laughs> I I okay. You know what? I think I agree. I think they could have saved him, but I also think that in trying to if they tried to save him. There like, is a chance that Ikathia could have turned, like, actually won that fight, and that's not worth Ben has not set up the turrets yet. Because Ben may have died five times. Or flip this Maokai is still the entry is Sapling, MVP there. Scouts out that death push. <coughs> Maokai is just too good with the sapling. It's, the, the vision is insane. Way to case, trying to get some flank going off here, him. but he has the ultimate, so you don't have to actually get a flank here. Maddie and the Baron is dead already. Here comes the fight. Way 2K gets into the back line. He's onto the MF. MF did ult. Is she is the Axiom Art working? Is it gonna work? They get two kills here, they get three kills. MF has the ultimate back up. No, she does not. And Maddie is going to die. No, he's not. Okay, so. We've seen the Axiom Mark in action right there, and we can say for sure that it sucks. Yeah. Because she needed four kills to actually get her ultimate back there. And, by the and at that point, do that, what do you need to what's, alt? Yeah, what's the MF ult doing? So I can say for sure that the Axiom Mark is not the play. 
But you know what? Axiom Mark's a lot of fun, so I don't blame her for trying it. Maybe now it'll be better when she has Collector because it does scale with Lethality. So maybe it'll only take three kills to do now. But Okay, but there's <laughs> a lot of ulting again. She's getting Guardian's Angel, so it's scaled as much as it can, possibly. So we'll see we'll see in the next fight how, how well it works out. Which I hate to beat a dead horse on the thing but it's fun to talk about because I, I, I like the change that they did the axiom mark and I'm like, i just want to see how it works with yeah four lethality items jord takes a lot of damage there walking into the bush to try to get some vision love no more was trying to hold on for a flank there they found the love no more flank all right they push him back over the wall and they are in a better position to get the dragon as Heimer is dropping all the turrets here. So we're going to have to try to see a steal from way 2 k There it is! He doesn't get the steal though. Love the more gets access to the back line. There comes the ultimate from the MF. Akali is going to die before she can get onto the back line. Jord is dead. way 2 k is dead. MF Alt is back up. It only took three kills. So there you have it. Axiom Mark. That's how it works. There it goes! The second ultimate! We got it! Axiom Mark gets the kill Axiomark on the Ellie. Able. Alright, that was an Axiom Mark. That was oh, an like... Axiom Mark moment, baby. Hell yeah. They are uh, splitting their focus here uh, to get both of these towers, tier 2 towers. Thank you for the fantasy points. Appreciate it. They still have 20 seconds on these death timers, so we can see two more turrets come across here. Ben uh, that fight was not a good fight by Tarot. They should have. They prioritized the wrong thing. Their goal was to steal the dragon and then take the fight. I think in a situation like that, you, you just have to go for the go, kills. Yeah. And then you just go for the kill. The it's just out. the third dragon. You just have to fight them straight yeah. up. You don't. Nocturne uses ult to try to get the kill when Akali was trying to dive the back line. And he really needed to just be in the back line, I think, with them. If you, if you just dive together. They, on were, the they were on different pages there for sure. But they're going to pick up two kills for the overstay here. Pasta Man going down. Axiom Mark doesn't matter there. She's going to get the GA, so she will live through the burst. Uh, Miss Pretty Kitty also going down. Did use Flash too, which is unfortunate. But there oh. aren't very many objectives on the board here. I think they can probably get the Inhib. Although Way 2K has no mana. Go into the jungle, Way 2K. Pick up some mana. Use your, use your item. God, he's so smart. He's doing it. Look at him. He's getting the mana just from being... Ah, love that guy. He's going to back, though. I don't think like, they needed I, to back. Uh, I think they could have pushed for this, but they're yeah, playing they it safe it because they are a, they are in a, uh, they are behind. So it doesn't... It's not terrible to play it safe here. Because yeah, really you're just playing to like try to fight them at the objectives. But you need to make sure Ben cannot set up the turrets. Okay, the flip side here though is that there were two dead and only three people that are able to defend and inhib against five. Like, yeah. you just take that fight. Way if they K fight you, you win the game. If they don't fight you, you get inhib. Like, go for it. Yeah. Way 2K needs to make sure that he saves Smite for the Heimer turret if he chooses to ultimate the, the, the turret. Because that thing's annoying to kill, but with Smite, it's, it's very easy. Yeah. Akali in the side lane, just pushing out the waves because there are super minions barreling in from mid and bottom. And blue side, Akathia, is pushing up for this third inhibitor turret. They're walking in. Maddie's walking into Jord. Not much is going to come. So he just gets the, uh, <gasps> the advantage. He gets the blind Q. Oh, man, you're ahead Our of me. Be quiet, be quiet. You're ahead of me. You're ahead of me. Wait. Yeah, how are you ahead of me? I can't zoom in anymore. But here we go. The blind Q comes in. Arcane Havoc going to have to tumble out. Nocturne finds the MF channeling the ult. Immediately walks back. Arcane Havoc is dead. Amumu is dead. Love No More is dead. Colossal Clouds is going to die. That's going to be the game. How did you get ahead of me when I can't zoom? I can't. <laughs> That's a good yeah, question. The game was broken. I can't move forward. Oh, now I can. I turn time controls up. Well, that's game over. Yeah, it's, it's, it's over. Oh, man. The blind queue landed, but they just did not have what it what they needed. Let's 
watch a replay on this. So this is the, the game winning fight here for Akathia. He gets the hook onto Heimer. It feels like they're just disjointed here. Jordan, Arkane, Havoc are pretty much already dead by the time Way 2K and Love No More go in. And Abel is also just like kind of having a hard time getting past the Heimer in your turret. Yep. Akathia balls up in that fight really well. Was hiding from Hoggle. Yeah. Yeah, definitely the place. There you her. go, that's the end of the game. So. That actually potentially won the fight. Time to bring in the captains if they choose to come in. If you want to talk about the game, I'm the fill in. Oh, you're the fill in. Hello, Bum. There's a party in Hyun's living room right now, so yeah. I told him to party. Ben playing captain basically the entire uh, the entire week while he and Jungle was out of town. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Very easy peasy. As were the being, games being, it looked like being captain. No, those games were not easy peasy. Well, the first one looked like it. After you, uh, you know, you looked easy for you at least. Oh well, that's Cho'Gath. That's I don't really. Have hey, to play MF. The game. Look at that. Look at all that damage from the double from the Axiom mark. Netting her the double alt on that one fight. Yeah, that one fight. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see the double alt come out anywhere else. Just that one fight. She bought it for that one fight, okay? <laughs> that yeah, was a that's... fun game, though, because like, we were behind pretty... I haven't looked at the gold graph, but we, like, we were pretty behind, I imagine, early. But, I don't like, remember we, we knew... being that far behind. Uh, maybe, maybe we weren't. We, it felt behind, but like... We had a pretty strong team identity for that draft, and we just kind of went away from it, and we were like, wait, wait, what are we doing? And then we kind of got our shit together, and then it worked a little bit better. Yeah, game game one, even game one you weren't behind because your gold lead was just, like, so massive on Able. Oh, my at That the even though your lead. team was falling behind in kills, like, you had, like, a four and a half thousand gold lead. It was pretty oh, crazy. Yeah. And then they banned four of my champions. And then they banned four of your champions. <laughs> yes, they Deservedly. Did. They definitely just. Des it's definitely a sign of respect, it. you know? It's Absolutely. I want to play Mordekaiser. I haven't gotten to play him in a while. I'm just entering fantasy stats. I don't think Arcane Havoc's going to pull through. Listen, Clouds, I have a I have a bone to pick with you. I always like playing top against you because we can both pick some stupid stuff top like Corky, and you weren't doing it, and then you were banning all my champions, so I had to play real stuff. <laughs> we could have had Corky versus Trindamir up there and had a fun time. I, uh, I don't think that's fun for the Corky. I'll play Corky into anything. That's that champion's so fun. Fair enough. And I have the like really crappy toboggan skin or whatever that's Ooh. super old. So I love that skin. Yeah, that's a classic. I have all these cool Corky skins, but Ice Toboggan's still a favorite of mine. Yeah, I have Toboggan and the arcade one and I just go back and forth if I want to hear cool sounds or not. Yep. Pretty much. You know, we were we lost a fight in that second game, and I, I told Maddie, hey, you want to get your homework done tonight? You got to fucking win this game right now before we go into a game three. <laughs> it worked out. Talk to us about that Choga. That was a... Uh... I played a bit of Choga. Yeah. I saw... I saw... I watched I watched my idol mid laner uh, Mariah Carey pick this champion called Cho'Gath, and I was like, "Oh my god, look at this Giga Chad!" Did we end the predictions, Zach? I can't believe that you would associate it with Mariah Carey when Kel has an emo named after him. Yeah, but Mariah Carey played it mid before it got buffed. <laughs> That's true. His Cho'Gath is really good, actually. 
I need yeah, the... but I hard force heart steal every time because and it worked that that one fight where I went from like two to six kills. I, was... I, think, I, I think I got like seven heart steal procs in like yeah. one fight. I literally just cycled the four people. Is Yun Jungle out there? You got the stats for the game, or uh, Ben? You could send them to me, right? What you need? Just the second game? The, yeah, the second game, the scoreboard, and then I got the towers, so you don't have to worry about that one. Just so I can just I can just do the kills. Just the scoreboard with the the time at the top. Yeah, one second. Two I played my first two v two v two game today. That was pretty fun. Those are fun. I love I love the arena mode. Um, it's not twisted tree line, but it's close. Don't, yeah, don't blink. Uh, I now. actually can't I can't submit it in the channel, but I'll DM it to you. Yeah, thanks. Don't blink now, but there are two two and O teams with four wins. Well, yeah, you have to get two wins to win a match. Yeah, if you are two and, and zero o, but... losses. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's pausing for dramatic effect. <laughs> oh my god, he, he said zero losses. Yeah, I knew you guys crazy. would fall for that. So yeah, look at that. Look at the standings. They're updated. Hextech is looking like two runaway teams right now. Just like the LCK. And I don't think we play till week We're we're week five, right? Five. Yeah, we're the last week. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why we were we were the show match initially or whatever, because we just copied week five. So that'll be fun if we can make it uh, three and zero to that. We both had our bye weeks. No, week no, I, I see some trash talk in the chat right now. But granted, here's the most important thing I need these kids in this chat to know, because uh, last week we we made a deal where we're all dropping every channel point we have on that game on our teams. Yep. Just don't forget, we're breaking the bank. Let me. We're all see in. How many channel points I have here? I'm at almost twenty nine k. We're all in. I have. 41,000. All right, this is going to be sick. <laughs> I will bet on the lower team so that I will get my channel points back. Hey, if we if we go into week 5 being 6 and 0 against 6 and 0, uh we got to make like an actual announcement that this is going to be the betting like spectacular of booze bash. 100,000 channel points on it. <clears throat> Should make it a rule that everybody well, that well, watches actually, has to put the Just between points. you, me, and Zach, we'll be at 100,000. Yeah, we'll be at 100K. I know, but I mean, like, even, like, you know, Azalea and everybody. And every, like, every match we're announcement. betting all of our channel points, right? So, like, who, even if somebody wins, you know, whoever wins the first one, they still have to bet all the channel oh, points that so they like won. So, like, if we win and then suddenly I'm at 60K, we got to all in again. You have to all in again, yeah. Maybe win it back okay. and then we do it okay. again at the yeah. game. Okay. okay. That would be, that'd be fun. I like that. Aww. I like that. <laughs> the problem the only problem with that strat is if like because if you were trying to win your points back like somebody that's not in the game could come in game two and put 100 points down and take most of them you know yeah who, that's a risk you have who, to take though would, in this kind who of who would do that uh, would do not that. me that's, <laughs> that's the risk you have to take in this kind of bet i'm gonna get on an alternate account to win more channel points maybe <laughs> what we can do is uh make the bet on a separate twitch channel that nobody knows about Oh, okay. Hey, what if what if we just give each other our Venmos and we put actual money on this game? You know? <laughs> I don't want to take your money, Ben. I don't think anybody is coming. <laughs> nah, I think this is it. Yeah, I mean... I can give channel for... points on mine, though, so it's... I can distribute... Um... Oh, I, I thought of a good talking point before we signed off. How'd yeah. you feel about us uh, swapping roles around everywhere? <laughs> I was, <laughs> Matt, I was and, like, and, Maddie's <laughs> playing Samir. Oh, I saw him once he had the skin. I'm like, he just wants to play the fucking skin. But even second game, we picked Thresh and Rel. Or no, what did we pick? We picked MF, Rel, and Diana. And all three of those could have gone to different people. <laughs> yep. Diana was between Sarah Jungling or Maddie Mid. And then Sarah also could have played like MF or yeah MF or Diana. I thought yeah, yep. And then Rel was either Hyun support or jungle. I, it was really confusing to draft. I was confused. I was on the team and I was confused. Those are the fun ones where you have a whole puzzle to figure out what's the best combination of all these champions that all these players play. Yeah, I'm not. 
I kind of against I, us. I, I, there's I, no I, way you're, I, you're I, not swapping I, rules. I 100 percent did not just. I, I, I did not mention that I was going to play Heimer game two. I kind of panicked towards the end because all my freaking <laughs> champions were banned, <laughs> and they showed pick four that it was going to be Maokai top, and I was like, oh, uh, and then I just locked Heimer and didn't say anything. Yeah, it was a it was a good one. It was a good Heimer game. My lane phase was pretty good, and then it kind of went away, but. I got that I mean, one pretty sweet kill with Ignite and the auto attack to finish him. Sure, that was the great. First one. Yeah, was solid. they learned though that you 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 should not be allowed to live, and they just do yeah, you every time. Yeah, I know. And then I, then Akali killed me every every single fight. <laughs> Flex Q, no thanks. Damn! <laughs> Don't you got to practice? Come on! Yeah, he didn't even he didn't dinner. even invite me. He's taking this rivalry seriously. Is that <laughs> Uh, I see Zach really is on. I'm I don't know who both I'm lottery teams. I only I'm know you three. Hang out. I am going to go watch Hockey Gone play TFT or something. I don't know. Hell yeah. Thanks for casting. That was a fun time. I'm glad I joined Glad I remembered him. it. That was yeah, a cool, I mean, yeah, that second game was a banger. <laughs> yes, I thought that was so fun to watch. Upcoming games. We only have one scheduled right now. And that is Noxus versus Zon tomorrow. No, Sunday. Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The best standard time that there is, Eastern. Um, yeah, and we'll leave it at that. GG, Ben, congratulations. You kicked yeah. everyone's ass. Thank you. Congratulations, Ben. You deserve Most MVP. valuable player. That's who I, I voted for you. I'm sure I voted win. for you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's, it was for Mariah Carey. The true. I messaged him before that game started, and I said, this is for you with the heart. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got the blessing. <laughs> so you're probably going to be winning another MVP. You'll be the first person to get two, I'm assuming. We don't know for sure, but... That would be the first time I ever had two in a season. Hell yeah. I'm, you're probably going to get at least three, but you're not going to get that fourth one. So, all right, <laughs> GG's, everyone. <laughs> everyone have a, a good night. And that was a quick, quick stream. Goodbye. Woo. Yeah.